wow. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. So today's tutorial is gonna be on this makeup look that I have on right now. I'm gonna show you the picture. I was actually going through the popular page on Instagram, just looking for some inspo, you know, a little makeup inspiration. And I came across uh, Patrick Ta, the makeup artist, the celebrity makeup artist. I came across his page and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm not following him. So I started stalking, his, obviously I followed him. And then I started stalking his page and I saw this picture of Shay Mitchell and I was just like, Oh my god, I love that. I loved that he did a dark lip, but with a glossy finish, because we always do matte dark lips, and you know me, I love gloss. Um, and since I never wear dark lips, it never really occurred to me to wear a dark, glossy lip. So, this kind, this look kind of reminded me how much I love dark lips. I don't know why I never wear dark lips. I haven't worn one in forever. I've been so stuck on nude. So I'm super happy that I did this look, because it kind of reminded me like, hey, just because you do something exactly the same all the time, doesn't mean that there's other things that don't look just as good, you know what I'm saying? Because I was really stuck on a nude. Um, I was just stuck on nude, and I kind of feel like this look is getting me excited to do things other than nude and bronze and um, neutral looks, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully I can come up with something fun for our next tutorial, but I don't really have much to say other than that. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and prime my eyes as always. I don't really use an, like a legitimate eye primer. I just use a concealer. So I'm gonna use my Tarte Rainforest with Seas Concealer. I just love this concealer. It's one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna put a couple of dots right here on my eyelids. And then I'm gonna use a Morphe E8 brush to press all that in. I always like to take my concealer in to this little area here, like on the side of my nose, because I've noticed that Later on, after the eyeshadow is done, when I go to do my foundation, I'm like scared to get too close to that area and mess up the foundation. So I just go ahead and put concealer from now to get some coverage up in that little area, in that little wicky look. And now I'm just gonna use a little bit of RCMA No Color Powder to set all that into place. Okay, so for today, I'm gonna be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. This is kind of like, classic if you will we're gonna be using a mix of cool and warm so let me zoom you guys in so uh you can see what i'm doing okay so the first color i'm gonna go in with is this creamy like whitish shade called salio so i'm gonna use this to highlight my brow bone so as you can see this color is super pigmented i'm packing it on all under my eyebrow and then using whatever looked over on the brush i'm just gonna drag it down towards my purse So now I'm gonna pick up, this palette's a disaster. I'm gonna pick up this taupey, grayish, more cool toned color right here. So I'm just very lightly dipping into this color using my Morphe M502, tapping off the excess. I'm gonna look down and just start to map out my crease. I'm using very light pressure and I'm going from the outer edge towards the inner edge and I'm keeping it in the crease mostly, as you can see and then very lightly using little swirly motions working it up. Obviously, flipping it out on the edge. Not obviously, but we are gonna be doing a little bit of a cut crease today, so I wanna flick it out on the end, because if not, it's gonna give our eyes too much of a round appearance. And as you can see, I am blending it up pretty well right here in the inner edge. Not on my brow bone, but in here, in this little area, because it's gonna give that really like effect to the eye, like kind of like that cat eye almondy effect. This is gonna help to do that if we really blend it in here. But I'm using very little product. Like, there's like no product in the brush. I'm just kind of blending out what's already there. I have a legitimate problem that like this eye always blends out so nicely and so easily. And then this eye is always freaking patchy. Like why? I don't understand. So now I'm gonna go with the Morphe M433. This is very similar to a MAC 217, as you can see. However, the Morphe M433 is a little bit thinner, like it's not as fluffy. It's a very slight difference, but the difference is there. So I'm gonna use the Morphe one just because I'm gonna start to define my crease and cut it out and I want something um, as precise and thin as possible. So I'm first gonna go in with this color right here. It's called Latinus. Oh my God, this, I feel like the names of this are all like from Jesus' times. Like the names of all, of, of all these eyeshadows are so hard to pronounce. Latinus. 
It's this lightest brown shade over here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kinda look down towards my mirror, make sure I tap off the excess off my brush. And I'm gonna start to apply this directly inside of my crease. I'm kinda like putting the brush down and then wiggling it. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. And then I'm gonna swoop it out, swoop it out on the end. And I'm actually gonna switch back over to my original blending brush and go over all those edges. I always like to keep my original blending brush with me, like on hand, so that I can go in and blend in between each color just to make sure everything is nice and blended. So now that I've got this nice and blended out, we're gonna start to really define the shape. I wanna kinda make it a little bit higher on the inner edge and then swoop it out on the outer edge. It's gonna be kinda like a hill in here. It's gonna give that very Marilyn Monroe, almond-eyed glam that we're going for. So I'm gonna use this Morphe M507. It's just like a really tiny little baby like tapered brush. So it's really gonna allow me to make that nice line that I wanna make. I'm gonna go into the color Solas, Solas. This nice dark chocolatey brown right here. I'm gonna dip in just the tip of the brush. I'm not like going all in, I'm just dipping in the pointed tip, tapping off the excess. I'm gonna look down again and I'm gonna start to create that shape that I want. So, as you can see, I'm kind of bringing it a little bit higher than I normally would. I'm gonna start to swoop it like that and just very slowly build it up. So now I'm gonna switch over to this little Luxie brush. This is the Luxie 237. It's just like a tiny little blending brush. But I want something nice and fluffy to blend out that nice harsh line that we just made. So I'm gonna use this with a very little bit of product and just go along the very edges help blend it out. And it's looking a little muddy right now, which is totally fine because we're gonna really clean up this whole lid area. Actually, I brought it a little bit too high in here in the inner corner, I think, so I'm gonna go back into my Brow One highlight brush and the same color. And I'm just gonna drag a little bit of it down to help clean it up. I use this trick all the time because I always go crazy blending to try to make things look super airbrushed. And then, you know, sometimes I just blend a little too high. But it's okay, nothing we can't fix. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to cut out my crease. You can totally do this with concealer if you'd like, but I don't like super crazy, harsh, intense cut creases. I just like them to be a little bit more blended. Even though Shane Mitchell's in this picture is a legitimate cut crease and you can tell it's a cut crease, it's still soft and blended and you don't have that harsh line. So what I like to do is instead of using concealer, I like to use a ColourPop eyeshadow that is um, very similar to the color that I'm gonna put on top on my lid. So I'm gonna use the color Crimper from ColourPop and I'm gonna use a little Inglot 13P slash S brush. And these ColourPop eyeshadows are just really creamy and um, they just do a really good job of like creating that cut, you know what I mean? And then we'll set it down with a pigment after. So now that I've got that nice and carved out, I'm just gonna fill in the rest of my lid. So now for the pigment all over my lid, I'm gonna go into MAC, the MAC pigment in the color Blonde Gold. This is one of my favorite pigments. I use this so much, especially like on brides and stuff. Because I'm picking up this little BH Cosmetics brush right here. I'm gonna spritz it with a little bit of Fix Plus. And I'm just gonna start to pack this in all over my lid. Cool. So cut creases always look funny when you first do this. It looks like I have like two little wings that are about to like fly away, but it's okay. Once we do um, the bottom lash line and everything else, it won't look so funny anymore. Okay, so we've got the top of the eyes done for the most part. I'm just gonna clean out my under eyes. This is a, um, just a makeup wipe, you know? It's the Burt Bees, um, cotton flavored, cotton scented. I never know what to call it because you don't eat it, it's not really flavored. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. Um, I will link my full in-depth face routine below in the description box so you guys can check it out if you wanna see how I do my face. I am gonna switch up my foundation today. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna decide right now and I will let you guys know as soon as I get back. Okay, so I went ahead and I used the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and then I used my Tarte uh, Rainforest of Disease Concealer, you know that. 
Um, this is my favorite concealer ever and I can't stop using it. It's like my third or fourth bottle. I love it. I am going to do a cream contour just because in the picture, Shane Mitchell's contour isn't really like chiseled. It's a little bit more soft and blended and natural looking, which is what you get when you do a cream contour. So I'm going to go in with my Graftobian warm palette it's just like a foundation palette here and i wanted to show this on camera because in my in-depth skincare skincare in my in-depth face routine i did not show a cream contour because it's not something that i've really been doing but i'm gonna show it today because today i'm gonna do it so i'm gonna be going with this morphe brush and i don't know what it is it's just like a fluffy synthetic brush and i just like to use this to apply my contour because since it's so little and since it's synthetic and it's fluffy it just gives me a lot of control and it doesn't get too crazy all over the place too fast so I'm gonna pick up this color right here from the palette to go ahead and do a little contouring with. And I'm just gonna draw my line like that. Bloop. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my forehead, just around here. So in the picture, Patrick Ta, he really um, contoured Shay right here in this area, like in the middle of her forehead, I guess to kind of give more of a lifted effect because by making these angles come up and cutting this, it kind of gives like a effect to your face, you know what I mean? I keep on with this, like what does that even mean? I don't even know. So I'm gonna just do a little bit more here than I normally would to kind of mimic that look that he gave her, just like that. And I'm just gonna put the tiniest little bit of nose contour very lightly on my nose, nothing too crazy. I'm really just dusting a little bit on. Just gonna cut it a little bit. So not taking my beauty blender. And I'm just gonna start to buff all that in. Just press it into the skin. I need a little bit more up here. So I just add a little bit and then blend. And then if I need a little bit more, add a little bit more and blend. I always say it, it's so much easier to go back in and add product than to start trying to take product off if you've put too much. So it's better to work slow. My hair is just really in the way right now. Damn, I'm looking bronzy as hell. And I'm loving it. I should really cream contour more often. I really like how this looks. Okay, so now before I put any other powder on my face, I'm going to go ahead and do a cream highlight. Just because in the picture, Shay Mitchell has like this really, I don't know, it's just looking like what she has on is creams because everything is so dewy and natural looking. Oh, you hear the garbage truck outside. I'm going to go ahead and take this, what is it called? It's called a strobing souffle. This is from the brand Sleek Makeup. While I was in Paris, they had um, like a whole gondola of sleek makeup in what's it called? In Sephora. And I was like, so I'm just gonna dip my finger into it and I'm just gonna put this right here you See how golden that is. I'm pressing it in with my middle finger and then blending it out with my ring finger Now this strobing cream is a little bit glittery But you know what I have to be honest It doesn't bother me. I kind of like it like I like that from far away It looks like a glow, but then up close. It's like you got some glitter on your face girl and I'm like I know we're gonna put like something with more of a sheen on top, so it's gonna kind of like look like ref like reflex of glitter coming through from the bottom. I'm also gonna put just a touch right here on the tip of my nose. Also some here on the cupid's bow, or a lot on the cupid's bow. That top lip glow though. And then I like to put a little bit right here on top of my eyebrows. Okay, so my camera died, so while it was charging, I went ahead and threw on some eyebrows, so. We got brows now. So now to just make myself look a little bit more bronze and a little bit more glowy, I wanna keep my bronze a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna go just into this color right here, which is the lighter of the two shimmery shades. And I'm using a MAC 135 because I want this to be very light. And I'm just gonna go right over the area where I contoured very lightly. As you can see, I'm just dusting a little bit on. I'm not putting too much because I don't want to look powdery like I said before. I just want to add a little bit more bronziness. So now to look even bronzier and more golden, I'm going to go with my Morphe M500 brush and a little bit of MAC Gold Deposit. And I'm just going to dust that right over my bronzer and contour very lightly again. So huge shocker for blush. I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush and Apricot in the middle. She doesn't seem to have very much blush on. It's something very light and peachy looking. So um, we're going to do something light and peachy looking. 
I'm just gonna do like a little soft smile. I'm not putting much, I'm literally just gonna put a tiny little bit, just to give a little bit of color to my face, but I don't want a lot of blush. She doesn't have a lot of blush in the picture. So now, just to intensify the highlight a little bit more and really make it glow, I'm gonna go in with Prosecco Pop from um, the Jaclyn Hill and Becca Face Palette. In the picture, she has more of a light gold highlight. That's why I'm using Prosecco Pop. And I'm just putting this on the highest, highest point of my face. Like just right there. Little on the nose. Lip. Just a touch right here and just a touch on the chin. So I'm gonna go in first with this brown color right here, which was the second one we used. It's called Latinus. And I'm using a Morphe E18, and I'm just gonna start to smoke out my lash line. And I'm bringing it up to meet, I'm bringing it straight up to meet that that we did on the outer edge, so it kind of looks like one nice almondy shaped cat eye. I'm gonna bring this in just a little bit, just so we don't have that glittery point on the edge. I'm just gonna very lightly blend this into the golden color. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into a smaller brush. This is the Morphe M431, it's a little pencil brush. And I'm gonna go into the darker brown color right here, which is called Solas, Solas. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm just gonna keep it a little bit closer to my lash line. And I'm also gonna bring this up to meet the point. But I'm using it, I'm bringing it up once there's like barely any product left on the brush because I don't want it to be too harsh. So now before I put on lashes, I'm gonna go into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Color in the color Honey to go ahead and line my waterline. And I always do this before mascara because it does tend to get all over your lashes. Okay, so I went ahead and popped on some lashes. These are the House of Lashes Smoky Muse. Woo! Smoky Muse lashes. I use these because um, I was looking through Shamage's Instagram and I noticed that she doesn't really wear big, crazy, intense lashes. She wears stuff that's very full towards the root and then is very like wispy on the ends. And these were literally perfect because they're super thick at the root and they're very wispy on the ends. So I went ahead and popped those on and I just put on a little mascara. I used the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And now I'm gonna go and do something very quickly about this hair situation and then come back and do the lips and we are all done, guys. Okay, so I just went ahead and threw some curls into my hair, clipped in my extensions. We're gonna pretend that I was doing my hair for one whole second, but really I was doing it for about 15, 20 minutes. Let's move on to lips now. I'm gonna go in with the Night Moth Lip Liner from MAC Cosmetics. So now that I've got my lips lined and I'm looking uh, real good right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put on liquid lipstick. I'm gonna be using Lip Land Cosmetics and Am Reezy's collaboration in the color Montenegro. So I'm gonna put this on first and then I'm actually gonna dot a little bit of Anastasia Beverly Hills Midnight right on top while it's still wet. This is just their black liquid lipstick just to make it a little bit more of a like blackberry color. Cause this is already dark as it is, but I want it to be a little darker. And now I'm gonna put a lip gloss on top and I'm gonna use a black cherry lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, this is a beautiful color. Okay guys, so that's it. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Like I said before, Patrick Ta is amazing. When I saw the picture of um, Shay Mitchell, I was like, oh my God, I just need to recreate that. And I loved that the lip was like dark and vampy. I loved that it was like a soft cut crease. I just, I just loved everything about it. And I just wanted to recreate it. I hope you guys love this look as much as I do. And as always, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.